What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Footballers. My name is Tony and you can follow me down below at Lyman Football. Now today's video, I'm not sitting at my normal spot, which is like right here. And that's because I'm still kind of trying to figure out how I want to do unboxings in my current space. Um, and I haven't figured it out yet. So I thought today I'd kind of just come chill against the wall, sit on the grass, see if there's something you guys like. If you guys like me doing these unboxings kind of on the ground where I would be chilling, like when you actually do unbox stuff and try it on like you would in football, just leave a comment down below or a like and I'd really appreciate it. That helps me figure out how we want to film these things. Now today's video is going to be about the new cutters gloves that just came out. These are the Cutters Force 4.0 padded lineman gloves. I have them right here. First off, thank you to East Bay. They hooked me up with them. So they'll be the first link in the description and down below right now. You can check them out. Now I have a bunch of different footballs here um, of different materials. I have a Wilson CFL football, which is a little bit more slick. Um, I have a Wilson, another synthetic, but a slightly different material here. It's deflated. I know that, but it, you know, storage. Um, and then I have another Wilson, but it's a Wilson NFL football here, but this one hasn't been broken in a lot. The leather is still very fresh on this one as well. So, um, so like most gloves, there's really not a lot going on with them these days. You just get normally like a plastic sleeve, you get the gloves, a little piece of paper to separate the grip. And then this actually looks new. So um, at least the cardboard, they went with this like gradient finish on it, which I haven't seen them do in the past. They normally do solids. Um, and I actually quite like it. Now the first thing we need to do on these is take off these little pull tabs and these are something if uh, I've never enjoyed. I do think at some point someone should try and invent something a little better than these pull tabs for gloves because they're not all gloves. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the card first. Now on the front it does just say Cutters Force 4.0 Extreme Grip in a large which is my size. And then on the back here, it says we have SeaTac Grip, which is nothing new, RevTech Recharge, which again is nothing new, all weather and machine washable, which actually machine washable might be kind of new. As far as when we're looking at what the technology say on the back, it says on the fingertips here, yet we do have SeaTac Grip. We have on, I think it says we have two different kinds of foam, potentially. Um, we have a compressed foam on the back here, and then we have the padded SeaTac on the front here. And then on the bottom, we do have the double wrist strap for customizable wrist support. So let's just start at the bottom, work our way up. Let's put them on, try them, see how they feel. Uh, the wrist strap does feel really nice and thick and comfortable and stretchy, which is a really good thing to see. Uh, as far as materials here, the thumb feels like this like one piece material and it doesn't, I kind of feel like it's not going to have any flexibility. It just looks like it's like a shell. Um, so we'll try that on. On the back, it looks like we have two kinds of padding here. We have like one kind of thick padding on here and then there's like a different style of padding of compressed foam around here. The first thing I see on these is they kind of look janky. Like when I'm looking around, like you can see the fingers are kind of all bent out of shape. And like you can see where it's like they over bunch the material on some spots more than others. Now you do just have the layer of C-Tag grip um, stitched in on here, which might not be the best because I could see kind of the edges and stuff rolling up, but we'll, we'll test that more. Uh, but for now, let's just put them on. Ooh. It might be better than I thought it was gonna be. I was kind of worried about those fingers, but it actually feels pretty good. I was kind of worried about these. I kind of thought that they looked a little bit too fast like they were built too fast, but they actually nailed a lot of things on here that I didn't think that they would. So the thumb is super restricted, um, but that's actually quite nice because normally you have a lot of issues with like overextension with your thumb. So they probably did that on purpose. I thought the padding on the back was weird because it didn't look even and like symmetrical. Like it looked like it's slightly off, like some fingers are different than others. But actually when you bend your fingers, it's like perfect with where the knuckles lie on your fingers. So from a design perspective, it might not look as good, but from an actual function perspective, it's perfect. A little bit tight in the knuckles, but you probably wear that in. Classic cutter C on the top. Hands are definitely already starting to get a little warm, not gonna lie, but that's most lineman gloves. They do have the felt on the inside. I kinda don't like the felt. I kinda wish just most lineman gloves had like C-Tac or whatever their brand of grip is on the entire thing. But personal opinion, but actually so far, they feel pretty good. Let's grab some footballs. 
I just want to see how the palm feels on a ball. SeaTac has really good durable grip, by the way. Like that's one of their things. Is SeaTac is very durable. Um, and it's very sticky. The RevTech in it is kind of meh, um, but the SeaTac, the actual base layer of grip, is very nice. Let's grab this ball. Definitely hard to grab a ball at center because your thumb movement is restricted. I'm trying to grab it here. That might not be a thing that these gloves are used for, but the other fingers feel nice. Pretty good so far. Now they're only available in two colors, which does kind of suck. Um, I was kind of hoping by this year, like more companies would have more gloves for other positions or more colors for lemon gloves. These are still just black and white, but overall they actually feel very good. I don't actually act surprised because Cutters puts out really good stuff, but when I pulled them out of the packaging, they just, they looked a little off. But when I'm wearing them, they feel good. They're still the blast, the, the classic black padded lining glove, which is an aesthetic I think we should start to get away from. But overall, like they're very nice. So there you guys go. There are my first impressions and the unboxing on the Cutters Force 4.0 Extreme Padded lineman gloves do not forget to subscribe as the review will be coming out in a couple weeks from now after i've been able to put the gloves through their pace again i hope you guys enjoyed today's video subscribe thanks for watching